For sending in our TMP stream to a local instance of Wazo Streaming Engine, we'll be using vMix as the encoder and VLC player for local playback using Apple HLS. Back in Wazo Streaming Engine Manager, we'll go under Applications and add a new application. We'll make this type Live, then we can name it appropriately and add it in. We'll be streaming to players using Apple HLS as I mentioned, so we'll uncheck the other playback options and save the changes. Since we're only streaming locally, we'll also go under Source Security and edit the settings so our TMP sources are open. With these changes now saved, we can go ahead and restart the application so that these changes can take effect. Under Sources Live, we'll locate the application connection settings that we'll need to use in vMix. We're going to format the information like this. Now if you're using vMix for the first time, you'll need to add an input. You can choose to use our sample file as a video source, and this can be found in your Wowza Streaming Engine installation under the Content Directory. Once added, you'll need to play it to make sure it's working. Now we can change the stream settings. Leave the destination as custom RTMP stream, enter the application connection information in the discussed format, and name the stream under stream name. Once you're done, save the settings and, well, start streaming. Don't forget to start up the video once again. Back in Wowza Streaming Engine, under incoming streams, we can see the stream is running. By selecting it, we'll get more details such as the network throughput. For viewing, we'll need to go under Test Playback. You'll need the HLS streaming URL, so copy it and then open up VLC Player. You'll need to open Network Streams and use the URL to play the stream for it to work. Alright, well that's it for sending an RTMP stream to Wowza Streaming Engine from vMix. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.